Hi, Kerry. Thanks for joining us today. So firstly, what kind of risks do consumers expose themselves to when shopping for toys and games online? The rise of online marketplaces has made it much easier for non-reputable businesses to sell toys and games to consumers. As with these marketplaces, they have thousands of different sellers behind one platform, so therefore it's difficult to distinguish who is the seller doing the right thing and who is the seller that's not. With toys and games, they have to comply with really strict UK toy safety standards. So doing the right thing comes at a huge cost and rogue traders choose not to meet these. And these types of sellers are much more easily able to hide behind a marketplace um, where they're a bit more hidden. And that obviously presents risks to consumers um, who are receiving unknowingly these dangerous goods. There is currently a loophole in regulation, which means that online marketplaces themselves are not accountable for the safety of products that third party sellers sell on their platforms. This has really enabled non reputable sellers to easily reach consumers in the UK with dangerous toys and other goods. Often these sellers are based overseas and therefore when things go wrong, it's also really difficult for consumers and trading standards to take action. And these sellers are increasingly able to get away with it, um, so the situation isn't improving. We've been investigating the sale of toys sold by third party sellers on four popular online marketplaces. So Amazon, eBay, AliExpress and Wish, which many consumers will know and, and buy from. And over the last four years, on average, we found that 86% of these were illegal to sell in the UK. And shockingly, 48% of them were unsafe and dangerous for children to play with, which shows just how big of a problem this is and the scale of the problem. How can shoppers avoid such pitfalls and shop safely online? I think when buying online, it's really good to kind of be aware and read about the risks. There's lots of information out there online in the first place. So being aware um, and educating yourself on what the risks are. I think consumers, particularly online, should take extra caution from buying from third party sellers and online marketplaces or sites that they don't recognize and haven't really seen before. Look at the seller name and address does that address is it real is it based in the uk or elsewhere are the reviews of the seller good um, are they trusted to sell toys and if it's a name that you don't recognize then be much more careful and do your research and checks before making that purchase i think secondly on branded products um, again look at the company um, and name of the brand before you decide to make a purchase on their own company website and then use that company or brand in your search terms and look at the price points and compare. Because I think with branded products in particular, it's really important to be careful going for the cheapest price because often that can be a sign that um, it potentially is a counterfeit. And if something looks too good to be true, we all know, then it probably is. The risk with toys is that dangerous, you know, dangerous toys pose such massive risk that it's really not worth the money um, that you've saved saved them on going for the cheaper price. And what are the dangers of counterfeit and low quality toys and games? Toys are one of the most regulated consumer goods on the market and quite rightly so to protect children. So those that don't meet UK toy safety standards pose lots of different types of risks um, and dangers for children. And some of the examples from our own studies that I've touched on um, are toys that contain chemical limits that are, have been in some instances 152 times the legal limits required, which can cause massive long-term health issues for children if they put them in their mouths and expose them for long periods of time. Um, we see a lot of toys that release small parts that can be a choking hazard, particularly for young children. Um, again, we've seen toys with long cords, which can pose strangulation risks. Um, with musical toys, um, we've had musical toys that fail acoustic testing, which can cause damage to children's hearing, electrical faults in electrical toys that can cause shocks and burns, increasingly um, accessible, easily accessible small button batteries um, that are dangerous if swallowed by a child. And in more recent times, we've seen the rise of high powered magnets that have been aimed at children that are way beyond the legal limits that can obviously cause damage to the colon 
um, but also we've seen cases of children needed to be operated on to remove these magnets. That's shocking. What's your advice for consumers seeking good deals at this time of year? Yeah, well, times are obviously incredibly tough at the moment. So we know that people will be looking for good deals. With toys, it's really important not to choose cost over safety. So make sure that you do your research beforehand. Retailers are in tough competition with one another at the moment. So there are definitely lots of sales on and good offers to be had. Um, the average price of a toy is around £10. Um, so there are definitely good purchases to be had that are also safe. We always say to be more cautious in physical or in-person marketplaces that are selling toys, as this can be an avenue for non-reputable sellers to sell dangerous or counterfeit goods. And like with online marketplaces, it can be difficult to return unsafe items or seek redress from these sellers when something goes wrong. So in these types of places, make a good assessment of the toy before you purchase it. Um, consumers can look for practical things like looking if the toy or packaging has a UK or EU address on it as it's a legal requirement, checking for things like CE marking or UKCA marking on the toy as that is also a legal requirement, and really just looking at the packaging and the warnings and the age appropriateness of the toy and whether all of those things add up to what type of toy it is. I think with traditional high street retail stores, although they've got legal obligations to, to check the safety of products, we do know that things can also go wrong in these, in these high street retailers. But with the high street retailer, you have the opportunity to go back to return your item and seek redress, and they have an obligation to act as well. So with at least with high street retailers, that is an, um, a place where you can at least go back to when something goes wrong, which is really important. Kerry, what are your key takeaways for our audience when it comes to buying safe toys? So make sure you really know who you're buying from. It's really important to check the company and their address and, and real kind of investigate things like that if you're really not sure. Um, do, do your investigations beforehand. Secondly, always check the reviews and ask yourself, do they have a good reputation for selling toys? And finally, we'd always say if something goes wrong, please report it to the seller. And if you think something is counterfeit or unsafe, then you can also report it to Crime Stoppers or contact Citizens Advice. Because if things aren't reported, then action can't be taken by trading standards or ever enforcement bodies. And we also then can't warn ever consumers um, that there might also be a problem. So it's absolutely essential that people tell um, some one of these organisations when something does happen. We can't take action without your reports. We need everyone who comes across fake, illegal or unsafe goods to speak up and report them. Your reporting could help us target our resources to warn and protect others. Report to the charity Crime Stoppers on 0800 555 111. You'll stay 100% anonymous, always. To get advice, call the Citizens Advice Consumer Helpline on 0808 223 1133.